What's the answer, Jody? I'm not sure, except Ke voice our opinion. Kevin, now what's the answer? Uh, for the people to realize that be taught what's going on and to um, petition the courts to do petitions their own and take things into their own hands mm -hmm. that uh, we can have back, you know, <coughs> the freedom that we deserve. But at the same, same time, now, keep wait a minute now. You said a statement there, uh, the freedom that we deserve. Right. Uh, let me go on the record. If the American people do absolutely nothing but sit on their b backsides eating Coke and uh, potato chips all day long, and they're not worried about their neighbor like what happened to you, then what freedoms do they really deserve? The answer is nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, the people will reap what they sow. And if you sit, sit by, and if you allow your government not to change all the laws and regulate this and that and this and every other thing, there's only one way that that can lead. And that all of you three guys that you witness this in court, that's where it's going if you do nothing about it. Okay, like I've always said, and Jim always says on his show, that people, you better wake the hell up because they're taking away your rights every day and we're only concerned about our own selves. Okay, but what about our kids? Don't they deserve more? And if that means, like Dan, who has made a decision and against his wife and against his kids to do what he feels like that he has to do, then I think it's up to everybody that cares what's going on to uh, pursue those same issues. And if we don't, what you watched in court could become a reality in your kid's everyday single life. Now, do we want that, Jim? No. Wait, do you want this for your kids? No, well, it's like the new health care bill. You know, we talk, we, this is all about our rights. Right. <clears throat> and if we're going to allow them to pass it, it wasn't two-thirds majority. They put it through anyway. I mean, the Jefferson Manual, which are the bylaws for the legislature, the Senate, and Congress, clearly state that it has to be passed by two-thirds majority. And it has to be read three times in its entirety in front of the floor. And there has to be 100% attendance for the vote. You know, they never, they, they never do this with any of the laws. Right. These are all challengeable, but they, we can't do anything about it unless we stand together as a people against this corruption that has just gone hog wild and it, it has taken all of our rights and freedoms away from us. I mean, what, do you have a right to drive without a license? I believe do you? so. You do? Yep. I, I do. I have an international driver's permit. I don't have a state-issued license. You know, these contracts are all contracts we enter into giving our rights up. People need to understand how to get out of these contracts, how not to enter into these contracts in the first place. And if we can't start to get our rights back, we're so far down the rabbit hole now, we're not going to be able to get back up out of the rabbit hole. We're going to be stuck with Alice. We went through it a little bit with, our, with homeschooling with, with and Jonathan. With raw milk. Yeah, yeah and with, with raw, raw milk. milk. Okay. So it was about four years ago. And what about you, Kevin? Well, someone did challenge me to read it, so I went on the internet, printed it out, and I did read it maybe <clears throat> a year or two ago, but being so busy, I would like to take it, and I will now, piece by piece, and look at it. And if you go back, now, and if you research that, you know what it's exactly going to say to you? This is why that during the revolution is why that the Americans wanted to break. They gave us what they were doing to us, okay? So if you go back now and you read what they said, now, and if you stop now and compare what's going on today versus then, do you know that these people are worse now than what they've ever been? So what do you believe now that Jackson and Jefferson and Madison, that what do you think they would say now that if those guys came back here, now looked at, at Judge Heck, that, that we're rolling your your friend, they wouldn't like it very very much. I think it even states in there that it's the right of that people, if that government won't listen to them, to overthrow that government. Because they foresaw, possibly, our government being so bad that we, the people, would have to uh, overthrow that government, which nobody wants to do. But Well, what Lincoln, now what he said is best now, okay? You have mm -hmm. to be very, very aware. 
is that our freedom of speech is being uh, you know, infringed upon every day. So, so let me go back now, and as far far as the Citizens Reform Center, and I'm sure that Jim's show and everybody here does not support the overthrow of the government of, of the United States, right? That we all know, know that. But I believe that Lincoln said it best, that I do not want to overthrow the government of the United States. But what I want to do is to overthrow the people that pervert the Constitution of the United States. And two, if you want to fix things, what you have to do is just study the why document. Why did we fight and why did we break away from Great Britain? Now, how do you fix all these things, right, that are wrong? The answer is simple. You study the how document. And what do you think that is? The Constitution of the United States, where it says that the government shall not do this, this, and this. And everything that the Constitution says that the government shall not, that's exactly what they are doing. And your neighbors sit, sit by and they do nothing. Do you know why? Right, because they're driving a halfway decent car. Their kids are in school, halfway decent clothes, halfway decent house. And we hear now all the lies, now that you raise on your show, Jim, almost every week, is that we are bombarded every day with false information. Yeah. You know that. I mean, you have all these guys on your show, and I'm amazed that they even allow you to be on your own show yet. Yeah. Right? Because those days are coming, Jim. Oh, I know. Okay. Now, for the record, that I believe uh, that you, that once again now by taking this stand, that I really believe that you are something special. And all we have to do now is get people to understand what's really uh, going on now, now with the help of Dan and Jody, that this judge that I believe should be taken down. She's a criminal. Mm -hmm. She has no right being on that bench. And look, she may have kids. Uh, she may have uh, that husband. Do I want to hurt them? I don't want to hurt anybody. Okay? But at the same time, all I ask of these guys is to take their oath and follow this simple book, people. And what this book here is the Pennsylvania Rules of Court. If the judges follow this, then you should have won your case in five minutes mm -hmm. and you wouldn't have came home here crying your eyes out, worrying about going into a court and you would not have said to me, Mickey, my wife is on the verge of a nervous break breakdown because of this judge. And all you people out there that do not understand this, that go ahead and sit on that couch and eat all the potato chips and all the Cokes that you want, but that remember, that when they knock on your door, there may not be your neighbor next next door, and there will be nobody to help you. So just keep this in mind. And just what Jim said, that if we're going to win this, we have to unite as a group. And if not, we're one done. by one, Jim, they're going to destroy just us. Just like they did to you in court. They've done it to me in court. To, you know, everybody I know has had bad experiences in court. Right. You know, there's some good experiences, very few, you know, where we actually have an honest judge and court, but the corruption that is going on and bleeding, hemorrhaging from our court system today, it, it's atrocious. We need to correct this problem. You know, this Constitution is, it's a political trust. That's what the Constitution is. And all these people that are hired under it, they're part of the trust, and they take an oath to defend, support, uphold, and protect that Constitution. They're all guilty of treason. They've all violated it. They should be, with the law for treason still on the books. They, they need to be hung from the, t the tree closest to the center of town for everybody to see. And the law is still on the books.